Okay, we're rolling. Today is Tuesday, November 7th. Getting back on the, oh man, being attacked by bees. Getting back on the disassembly of tracker number one. We're going to take this apart today, get all these panels off, get it reconfigured. We got the traveling man's back from Texas, came in late last night. I got to actuate it to exchange, install. So I'm going to have a busy day today and we'll see how far we get. So it'll be more to come in a little while, hopefully. All right, I'll be back. Okay, we're about two hours in. We've got this dismantled. Got the old panels in the back of the truck. So I'm gonna have a whole bunch of panels to uh, sell cheap. I went inside the breaker box here, ran another wire, which was a miracle in itself, it went in. Installed another 15 amp breaker. We're gonna reconfigure the super struts to fit the new panels. And I gotta change out this actuator. It's seen better days. I got a new one to put that up. And tomorrow, after we get these all reconfigured, we gotta go and make a template on the solar panel so they'll line up on the super struts. And we'll do the actual install tomorrow. So that's what got done so far. I gotta go put these on the side of the house, get them out of my truck. All right, more to come. We're making progress. A lot of reconfiguring to do, make sure everything falls into place tomorrow. All right, more to come. All right, today's Friday, November the 10th. We're finally gonna get a break in the heavy wind and the rain. And we're going to hang the solar panels on the uh, reconfigured solar tracker. I've installed the new actuator. And we had to extend the unistrut, or super strut, six inches. That one's a little longer because that's going to have the tracker eyeball on it. So we made these plates and put a six inch extension on each one of the main frames. And down here on the bottom as well. And the mounting bolt on these new panels is going to be all the way down here and over here. And I do believe the total length top to bottom, I think was 13 and a half feet tall. So we're going to start carrying up the new bifacial panels. And hopefully it's not going to be any more windy than this and we're going to get to mount mounting the panels finally. Alright, I'll do an update in a little while. Definitely need to get these hooked up. More to come. All right, the end of a long day. It's the last few bolts going in. Yes, sir. These were a bear. Everything's got a nice, nice lineup. Everything is perfect. Finish this off tomorrow. I have to come down here with the combiner boxes now and change the charge controllers around and get rid of a couple of breakers. We'll have a much better look at this tomorrow. We gotta check actuator travel. I gotta run series wires connections into the breaker box. But anyway, it's Friday what is job. Friday, what do you know tell time is? About 20 after 4. Just getting done. Alright, more to come. I'll show you tomorrow when we're all done. Okay, we just got all of the solar panels connected. We just turned on the 370 watt bifacial panels. And we had a moment ago 3000 and change here on the 200. And this one a second ago was 3,000 and change here. So that's incredible. That's 6,000 watts of solar coming in. I never had that much power. Figures when I turn the camera down, the 3,000 goes away. 
you can see 2942 over there and with just the bifacial panels so we had 2022 watts actually coming into the midnight and that's 370 watts times 6 plus the three 395 watt panels are hooked up to the 200 that's fantastic all right take your walk outside and show you the new guy new player in town very exciting this is Saturday afternoon we just got done you with the back shot here first that's sexy as hell man we gotta tidy up a few more wires and I still gotta put the solar eye controller up I'm gonna redo that miss the wires there I'll take you around front that's very impressive looking it looks huge looks like I got twice as many solar panels as I really do Yeah, that's almost 14 feet tall. Left a nice space in between all the panels. Fantastic. Very impressive. Very good. Would you like to go run it through its spaces? Sure, what would you like me to do? Go uh, east, west, north, south. Flip it on manual. You know how to do it. Got it all adjusted. Very cool. Okay, do north south. This turned out better than I thought it was going to. All right, do the north-south thing. Do the north-south. Very cool. All right, I gotta go up on the ladder and hook up the uh, eye. Well, basically that's it, other than installing the controller eye for the solar tracker. I'm gonna go tidy up some more wires and that concludes it. I'll step you back here and give you a shot of all of them, which is pretty cool. Very cool indeed. I can't see my camera. That's the most solar I've ever had. Another nice windy day. Next thing on my agenda is I'm going to start uh, doing some tests on the bifacial panels, putting some reflective stuff underneath and see what kind of difference that makes. These haven't even been turned on for 10 minutes. Alright, there will be more updates to come. Thanks for watching. Alright, today is Sunday, November 12th. First morning with sun with the new panels, everything hooked up and reconfigured. And it's 10.30 and 15 minutes ago my batteries were fully charged. The green lights were on at over 6,000 watts again coming in this morning. That was a beautiful thing. This is probably going to let me use electric heat this winter, which would be great. No propane. We got the eye on up there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm zooming in. Track our eyes up on the solar panel. Yeah, there it is.
Everything's working great. It's good to be done. Alright, hope you have a good Sunday. I'm gone.